Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30 foot Arista cap. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Hey guys, so um, this has escalated pretty quickly with me getting. Um, I come down to do a couple of little bits and then turn into a little bit more. Um, I'll just turn you around so you can see what I've been up to. So you've seen I've stripped this out. I've just put this here so I've got somewhere to sit and have my lunch. Um, but that's all bare ass now. Um, like these steps, oh, I don't mind. Okay, the way they are, I'll, I'll redo them anyway with some nicer material. Um, yeah, so they, they, they'll get redone, relayed, but that's that's not the the main job at the minute. I've just pulled this out to look to see where these pipes go. But this, um, God, I'm trying to think of the riser. It's not really. It's a boat. It's not a staircase. But this riser. Is right up against the hole, so it makes maximum use of um, the area given. And I showed you in a previous video, the other one is not so much. You notice there's a stair missing, and the bottom stair isn't tidy. Um, okay, so I've taken this this stair out purely because it went across there. Um, it was it was horrible. So the whole design was horrible. I want to make it more flowing and I'll just ooh, I'll show you with this okay that was the riser there so look at the distance you know that can go back another two two three inches so you should be well pretty much back in line with this I think it's initially for so it should have been ended here and then sort of buttoned on, back buttered onto there uh, I'm thinking we're not 100% but I'm thinking of keeping that where it is, or, or sorry, pushing this back up to that line, just buzz that off, um, and having the top step come from there across pretty much to here, we'll see there, and this one here coming out a lot more. Um, we'll see this post to move, so the staircase will lead you round into the hull, um, I think I mentioned it before about the worktop will end about here and sort of um, slide back in and then here will be the door that will get you through into the utility room but it's a lot of work um, I mean I've been down here a couple of hours this morning just listening to music and getting on with stuff that's all the wiring from the power winch at this end so I disconnected it all from batteries and all sorts of horrendous things that I found. Um, I think even if the winch wasn't completely shot to bits, the chance of it working with that wiring is so slim. Um, I've done various bits, I had a little dig behind there, I just found more coils of wire and bad joins. Um, so it's going to be a, a redo job. But I'm trying not to get, I keep getting sucked into these little bits, but I'm trying not to. What I really want to get on get on with is the structural piece here, uh, changing that bulkhead, getting the new bulkhead in here. Um, yeah, so I'm trying, I'm trying not to get, trying not to get sucked into other stuff, but it's not easy. And then, and I'll do this, well, have a think about prep it all, prep as much as I can. You know, I've been moving everything out, making more of a mess in here. Uh, I'm gonna pull this thing out, make it so it's all clear, good to go in here. And then, as I did with the port side, wrong starboard side, a few weeks ago, this bit here in the port side is still awaiting me. So this bulkhead is, it's dried out to be fair with you. To be fair with you. To be fair, um, it is dried, but I want to have it. I'm going to do a little exploratory 
on Torch Day, exploratory hole, sort of halfway up in there. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing in there is for the foam. Now, if the starboard side is anything to go by, that foam is going to be sodden. If it is, it'll all be coming out. Um, and it's going to be all right. Back break of getting in there doing that. Obviously, I'll cut this rest of the bulkhead out. Uh, get that floor piece up and get all the foam out. But that's a future job. Future job I'm not looking forward to. Um, yeah, that's where we're at at the minute. Um, wiring, I'm slowly getting my head around. Um, I sort of work out what's coming from the mast. Well, basically, I want to know what every single wire is on this boat that's staying here, and then from there, I'll develop the rest of the bits and pieces. Uh, a wee hole there from where the back end of the sofa went. I see, I'll probably replace that if I can make it part of the new sofa. I will, but again, future job. Beautiful day out there, not, but yeah, that's where we're at. So, we've got no stairs at the minute. Well, we've got a bottom stair, but that's going to come out. And I'll start um, redesigning. Boom. Hey guys, quick sign off before I uh, disappear for the day. <clears throat> oh, okay. I've got all the wires, that I, I know there's wires in there, but they're all loose in there, ready to get whipped out. All the little loose wires are a big mess there of there's 240, 12, random just like that was just found loose not connected to anything as yeah um i've hoovered the bilge out again and I'll, I'll leave the cover off just so i'll keep an eye on if it is definitely that hatch leaking i mean you can see there there's a drip on it and there's a bucket below it should fall in there but the bucket is pretty dry so i'll keep an eye on that I just pulled off all the window surrounds um, and my, my favourite foam back stuff off of here. So I need to go to work tonight, but job in a few days time will be to come down, scrape off. I still need to scrape off the other side. Um, I'm pretty much cleaned up here at the minute. I need to go proper to town with a grinder, get my, my, my PPE on and grind all this out. Uh, and then I need to do some serious thinking and planning on attacking this oh, a lot of different um, thoughts and the way I'll do it but I'll get it all out I still need to get that gas line out get them wires out I've just got to cut the end off one of them to make it fit for the holes feed them wires out and I'll get all the bilge covers up um, have a look what's forward there get that dug out make a sheet it's going to fit against here all the way across and down uh, and it can be screwed up to these uh, sort of bars that run around here make a nice solid bulkhead door will get cut in it to access through into the into the back there um, and then look at adjusting this yep that's where we're at at the minute Cheers guys. Morning guys, uh, another day on the foxiness. Probably getting a bit boring now, but the stairs saga. Um, I've had a measure up on the other side. Obviously I've, the stair, that, that staircase is a little bit nicer because this one was a little bit more aggressive, a bit more of a drop. Um, obviously it's not, it's not a huge cat, so I've not got loads of room to play with. Um, but I've been measuring up the difference between this step and that step and there's big differences in how much it comes out to sort of lead you around. So this step will be coming out as well to extend it. So see that doorway is going to be moving over. And also, whereas on the other side, the floor up here ends at the edge of the hole and it sort of fixes the top, the top riser fixes flat against there this side was pushed out i think originally because of the furniture and stuff that was here i see there will be something here but that's that's going to change so my my priority and everything else to build around it will be the access will be the stairs 
So my first port of call now is I want to chop off this overhang. So I've started getting back the cork stuff that's on the floors in here. Uh, I'm guessing some sort of deadener. Could be an old school floor cover, but it's more like some sort of under under thing for a carpet. I've started chiseling it back and there's actually a line. I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro. You see the line here where I've cleaned it. But there's a line. I mean that's not a score when it's been made. That's that's a that's a break in the material. So whether it's a natural break from the, the lengths of the, the sheet, but that line coincides with this here, which is the original line, which is the same as that side. So it almost looks like it's been extended, and when the floor, at some point it's been refitted, and this floor has been made bigger to come out to box around the furniture here. So I'm now going to chop it back. Um, and once I've chopped it back and made it clean and I'm happy, I'll probably look at taking out this bottom step. See how many layers of glass and God knows what's holding that in. Uh, get this out. Uh, use it as a template to then cut a larger one that comes round. I'm not going to put it in or do anything too drastic yet. Once I've got this out, I'm then going to look at messing around with, like I said before, installing that panel there and doing this one. And I'll reinstall the staircase. And then from that will come everything else it started to warm up a little bit this week so i was intending on putting the window surrounds in the uh in the bedroom in the uh starboard side but look a little bit gray and manky out there i'm not brave enough to put the windows out and start epoxy and stuff in so that could be a another day i believe so i'm going to get on in here now in the nice dry and warm and uh start chopping and hacking away um my actual GoPro battery, which I charged up a few days ago, and it's been sat in the GoPro, it was dead this morning. So I've got some cheap and cheerful things that come with it, sort of Chinese copies. So my battery life isn't great, so I just capture bits what I can. Cheers. Hi guys, I just want to quickly capture. I um, stood on the bottom step here, working on the, the upper step, chopping it back, and it pretty much collapsed on me. Not fully, but um, it's not happy. So I thought I'd tune in, catch me monkeying it apart. There's probably screws holding it onto battens underneath, but is this like? Almost like elevator stuff, proper glued on. I'm not getting that off. Um, so I'm purely going to have to grill it off. It's a shame because I wanted to keep this in one piece, but it does look like it's two bits of wood. But I'll uh, we'll find out in a minute. Oh, that's good. Um, I will still unscrew where possible. It's not always possible on this old beast. With the soft screw heads, and they're hidden by glue and some of like the heads are just corroded off. I'm not sure if I mentioned in a previous video. See this step has been set by the height of the uh, the bulkhead here. But the other side, the bottom step is about two inches higher. So when I redo this, obviously it'll be going at a 
a different height. in this corner. There's going to be a batten screwed in there. But the heads look like they're covered in epoxy. <sighs> yeah. And there's going to be a She's a bit soggy, but she's one piece. So I can use that as a as a template, especially for the corner piece and stuff, to make to um I spit it out. To improve it and make it bigger where I need to. I'm now just gonna quickly knock these old battens off. make it a little bit more interesting getting on and off but I'll get this all cleaned up uh, and I'll look at what I'm going to reinstall bit of tab in here that didn't come out it's holding in the old furniture. So I'll probably chop it about here. As you know about here. And knock the rest of this off. It's not, it's not doing anything. Give it all a good clean up. And uh, start working out in here. Then. Well I might, I might cut the stairs. Then do this bit to suit. But that's where we're at. So I'll, I'll turn off, my so batteries are in a bad way. Uh, I'll tune back in when I get any progress. Cheers. Hey guys, so that's the, uh, the stair remains all removed. I'm yet to grind all this out, but um, when I come to the grinding bit, I've still got a lot of stuff to get off the boat. I'm slowly getting there, but I'm, I've got more to get off. Um, and I'll don it all, all in one, and respirator and stuff, and just do the whole lot in a one. Uh, but moving on, just so I can get on with putting my new piece in here, I need to get this out. Uh, I think it was put in for the, the microwave was sat on here, and obviously it's got these battens here to hold the microwave in place. Um, and underneath here, I don't really know what these holes were for. I don't know if there was supposed to be shells put in and wasn't, but don't know. Either way, that's coming out to allow me to. Um, as long as it isn't glassed in or anything crazy, try and get some of this shelf out. I want to keep this shelf in, but obviously end it there so it'll finish on the bulkhead and I'll put some battens on the bulkhead. But um, yeah, just going to do that now. I don't think I need to record me unscrewing a load of screws to get this off, but I shall catch up when uh, I make some progress. Hey guys, quick update. Uh, I need to tidy up. I need to have a big big degun just stuff on the boat. Now I've got this area um, stripped out now, all the stuff that was in here. Um, I've had a bit of a bit of a change of heart because the instruments up here initially I was gonna make um, an area just around to box it in. 
So I'm thinking now that all this top part here, I'm going to stop the line about there, then up, and then the rest of it, yeah, I'll, I'll box it in all the way down, and then I'll probably put some sort of hatch in here. I was going to have like a cupboard door, but I think I'd rather have a hatch um, that I can seal. Um, I'll put it in, tab it in. Um, yeah. I'm probably think I'm thinking this needs a bit of a clean up. I've given it a bit of a scrape, but it needs to go clean up the wheel. Um, and when it comes to sticking the bulkhead on, once I've cut it, trimmed it, and I'm happy, I'll um, probably epoxy it onto there. This has got good. It's not going to not going to vibrate or make any noise or rattling against it. I want it fixed, solid on there. Um, one issue I foresee is actually getting it in there. It's going to be quite a big old beast. Um, so I think I might have to do it, unless I'm do some serious jiggery pokery. I'm going to cut it into one piece, and then I may have to cut it in two to actually get it in there, and then obviously put batten behind it to reinforce it. Um, if I was going to cut it, I'd probably do it sort of along here, reinforce it with a bit of batten in behind there. So um, and then a join here. I want one big piece at the bottom here, just for the hatch. Um, so yeah, I need to work out how I'm going to tackle that. Um, so I'm now going to go get the old piece that was set up here before, so I'm covering all this up. I'm going to get that old piece in here, to see what a good fit it was, because I really can't remember. Um, mark up where it comes to, so I'll use it as a template, and then I'll use my black carpet protector I'll continue through with the bottom bit, making a template up for that. And then I'll go home, buy a big old sheet of wood and uh, chop her out. That is the plan. But I shall tune back in once I've got the, uh, the little sheet back in. Okay, I still haven't tidied up. But um, I've just started cutting this template for the bottom part here. So I'm roughly on that plane and I'll uh, I'll cut the top and bottom and then I'll obviously cut the the wooden parts down as required. I just, I just need I'm after the shapes really. Obviously I've got no shape for the bottom here. Um, I was thinking about tracing paper on this bulkhead. I was thinking about various bits and ideas. But the boat changes shapes so I thought oh, I'll just go with a with my normal methods of making little templates up. So, I've taped that up there. I see that's the line. Up to this edge, up to that edge. Um, I need to do some trimming. I need to cut some bits to add on to complete the template. I've got a bit of trimming down here where it's, obviously it's touching, it's tight. Um, yeah, so I'm doing some final adjustments. And um, once I've got all my other little bits of tape so carpet protector taped on uh, and it's one piece I'll, uh, I'll be taking it home with the other bit getting some t um, some sheets cutting it all out cutting the, the floor for the back bit in there and that fresh bit of wood to go in there um, yeah hopefully by the end of this weekend I'll be getting it getting it stuck in so I can then move on to adjusting this and the stairs and stuff but yep yeah, that's right at the minute